What is going on guys? This is Basco Show, the average player. Welcome back to a new Shadow Legends video. I've done it guys, I've changed the build of my son Yukon again because I jumped into Gold 2 and I found a big big wall over there. Most of the players in Gold 2 are like Platinum Reset players. They have crazy builds on their champion. They have high resistance of their Duchess or their Cephys or their UDKs. And I experienced that the hybrid uh, San Hugo build that I did uh, a few weeks ago. Go check out the video if you haven't seen it. It wasn't working anymore because I had like 400 accuracy, 250 speed and uh, 5000 attack. So I wasn't killing the target and I wasn't even like transforming the target into a ship because I had low accuracy. So I had to change the build and in Gold 2 there is two kind of build that you can do. One is like full accuracy and fast build so you can control the enemy team or you can do a full attack, full critical damage build with uh, as much speed that you can get. Obviously it's not going to be too much if you have to put like, you know, uh, attack boots, etc. And most likely it's not going to be and most likely it's not going to be a high speed if you have to use attack boost. So even if you have 210, 220, it's okay. And this build is focused for this skill here. This skill has the potential to get to 100% in your defense if you have the mastery health measure. And if you know 100% of the even, you're going to do crazy, crazy amount of damage. You can hit up to like 300k. In my build, I noticed that my cap is 280. I think because I have uh, 274 critical damage, but if you get to 300 critical damage, you might get to 300K. And then whatever surplus damage you do, let's just say the target has 100, you're gonna do 200K on the other enemies. And basically you are almost certain that you're gonna one shot the entire team. So this is my new build. I basically gave uh, these little pieces that I wasn't using anymore because I changed my Rotos build, I changed my Turvo build. So I honestly didn't have those pieces on a champion that I was using. So I basically gave it to him and I got lucky with the ascension of these pieces. They all roll like attack percentage and I roll critical damage on these pieces. I'm gonna show you in a second. So this one critical damage and then I have attack percentage here, attack percentage here, and I have attack percentage here. So I've got very lucky with the rolls, but you know, this game is all about luck and trust me, I roll some of my best pieces with flat stats. So it is what it is. Hope you guys can build uh, a similar Yukon than mine and you can start destroy enemies in high arena. The total stats that I have uh, are these ones. I have um, only 32,000 HP, but the HP is not very important because he has a passive that revive himself. So you don't need him to be tanky at all. And then I have uh, 7,450 attack. I just got the blessing at two star and I got the attack blessing, obviously. I got little defense and I have 220 speed. 103 uh, critical rate, 274 critical damage, and as you can see, I have very little accuracy. I don't need accuracy on this build. My goal is basically to get a turn, and that can happen after he revive because he, you know, he's been killed. So he revive, he gets a turn, and you have to use the A2 on the squishiest enemy or the one that has the lowest health, or if there is only a dash that you can target because she has. Uh, because the other enemies have the veils, just go on the dodges, you're gonna one shot her. If there is no Arima in the team, you're gonna one shot her and you're gonna try and one shot the rest of the enemies. I'm gonna jump into the Doom Tower, we're gonna test uh, the damage there. I found uh, a similar stage uh, where I was uh, testing my champions. Uh, we have all Spirit Affinity champions, I believe, and um, so we're not gonna weak it. And those champions, they have around 8,000 defense. Some of them, they have like more, but if we proc the Hellsmasher, we're gonna ignore all the defense. 
So we're gonna do multiple tests just to make sure that we hit the smasher and we're gonna see how much damage we're gonna do and how much the surplus is gonna be. All right, I'm gonna boost and now I'm gonna put on one time speed. So I'm gonna start uh, by targeting uh, um, Septimus here. Let's see, 128. So this is not El Hesmash proc, I can tell you that. Uh, 128, let me do it again. So I think over there, I just ignore 85% of the defense. Let's see now, 317. So guys, 317, that's the power of the Hesmasher when you hit 100%. The difference is insane. It's like almost triple the damage. Let's try again. I want to see how much damage the other enemies receive from the surplus damage. Wow, I saw like a 272 here. Because uh, there is uh, something that is going on with the surplus damage. Uh, Safa was talking about in one of the video. Like it's not exactly the surplus is actually more depends on the defense of the champion stuff like that so i hit him for 300k i think and this guy here got 272,000. so really 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 strong damage i'm gonna try a few more time and i'm gonna target this champion here in the middle the void one because he has the lowest health i think his health is like 130 something and uh Septimus had 141,000. So let's see. Okay, we filled the as masher. Let's try again. Let's see if we can hit the as masher at one shot. No, we didn't. We didn't proc it, but we still did uh, more than enough to kill him. So let's see if we can do it right now. 278,000. So for some reason, the differences in damage is way, way high. Um, so I think um, we jump in between 280 to 320 maybe. So that's the ratio of the damage. But either way, this is insane damage. This showcase that I'm doing right now is basically telling me that I'm fighting five tanky champions, five champions that have over 135,000 HP and when you're gonna find these scenarios in arena it's gonna be very unlikely okay so if you can kill one of them without even proccing the hesmasher because you do 130,000 damage right you're gonna kill whatever is in your path unless they have like you know three stacks of like bosses set and then the HP is gonna be like 200,000 with the shield and it can happen but if it's not the case when you do 130,000 you're gonna kill even a duchess because duchess they might be 110, 120, 125,000 it's very unlikely that you're gonna find a duchess over 130,000 so you can kill it you're not gonna do any surplus damage but you kill it so they can revive but if you hit the smasher, you're gonna kill her by double that amount and you're gonna do 150,000 to the other enemies. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. We are on floor two. This enemy, they're gonna have lower HP. We don't care about the defense because we're gonna ignore 100% of the defense eventually. So because they have uh, less HP, they're gonna get more damage from the surplus. So this enemy here, they have around uh, 100,000 HP. I think uh, Robar here, what is it? Yeah, right here. He has uh, 87,000. So we're gonna try to aim on the Robar right here. Let's see. So we didn't proc the Hell Smasher. Let's do it again. Okay, let's try one more time and hopefully we can get it. Yeah, here we go, see? Because we hit the target with 87,000 HP, we did uh, 200,000 surplus on the other enemy, but those enemy, they didn't have 150,000 HP like the other ones up there. This one, they had like around 100,000, so we killed them all. And this is gonna be a very similar arena scenario. But let's jump to the arena right now. 
All right, let's start with the fast team setup. We are using CV to make sure we don't get the freeze. I thought CV was faster than um, Arbiter. Yeah, we got freeze right there. Okay, we have to basically, ah, we removed the freeze with the CV spassi, so that was perfect. So I think the squishy champion is gonna be obviously Baron, so we're gonna target him. 254, so yeah, we killed them all. And now we're just gonna kill Tormin. Okay, let's spice it up things a little bit. We're gonna use the Go Second Team setup. We are using basically both set champions to resist the damage. And we're using Tormin to slow them down. We did right now, so I'm gonna clean my champions now. And that's it, we got a turn. So I'm gonna target um, the squishy champion that is um, Hegemon. We didn't proc the Hesmasher there, we did 138,000, but we managed to kill the rest of the team. We're gonna go with the same setup and we're gonna try, I guess, a Blender team. So we managed to stop them, they went first, they got freeze a little bit, so they can't do much right now. I'm gonna put increase attack on my um, Yukon. I'm just gonna buff, why not, with Ursuga, and now we're gonna target the Squishy Shepard, it's probably this one right here. She can't die because she has uh, the passive, the unkillable, but we do like this, and then we can either like um, go around, I'm gonna just show you also the A3, they strip the uh, buff like that. You strip the buff if you have enough resistance that I don't. So it's okay. Uh, yeah, we just finish it off. Now, let me show you an example of when you face Harima's team. Harima has this nasty passive that reduce the in your defense effect by 50%. So that means, if we proc has masher and we are supposed to in your 100%, we're only gonna decrease 50%. And if we don't proc as masher, we're gonna in your only 42%, I think, yeah, 42.5%. That's how I think it works. So you're gonna see that I'm gonna do basically half the damage to the Duchess. So we're gonna boost. And I'm gonna target the Duchess 100,000. Now, I don't know if there was a Hell Smash proc, but I believe it was. Instead of hitting for like 300k, we only did 100,000. So if this Duchess had a Bolster set or she had more HP, we wouldn't be able to kill her. And also, you can see that the surplus damage that we deal to the other um enemies he got reduced by 50 percent and look this is how much damage we did this is crazy 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 so what we can do in this case is we're gonna bring a ramantu but harima has stone skin so hopefully we can strip her okay let's see if we can strip the arima Here we go. Yes, we did. So now her pass is not working and we're gonna target the Duchess again. 280 right there and they're all, all dead. So guys, that's it for this showcase. I hope you got my point why I build him like that and I dropped the speed and I dropped the accuracy. I basically have to use him as a DPS in live arena. I can't afford to bring him as a support and plus he's not gonna do the job because he can't make enemy ship or he can't one shot the enemy. So I need to decide, do I go full accuracy or do I go full damage? And because I wanna use him as a DPS in the DPS spots, I usually run two DPS only. So he's gonna be one of them. And then if I get banned, bad luck. But I don't want to have the Yukon 
on the other team because most likely it's gonna be a high accuracy Yukon and it's gonna strip my whole team and it's gonna put block buff and I'm pretty much screwed. So that's the reason why I did that. And you can see that it does so much damage, around 280,000 when I hit a smasher and around 130 when I don't hit. So in both cases, this is enough to kill a tanky champion in a normal scenario. There might be cases where the champion has even 140,000 HP or there is like a passive, like a Usuga passive, some other passive or some mastery, I don't know, that can prevent, you know, that you one shot someone with 130,000. It might be possible, right? I've seen some crazy builds in the live arena right now. So believe me when I say, never say ever, but it's still pretty good. And it's very important that you go for the squishy champion when you can, because in this way, you're gonna do tons of damage to the rest of the team. So if you can avoid attacking tanky champions, go on the squishy one and you're gonna do more damage. Guys, let me know what you think of this build in the comment section. I really, really hope this showcase was uh, useful for you guys. Be strong, be safe, and I'll see you soon in a future video. Peace.